a couple of girls. Um, you just kind of when we just there are we are just over here. Uh, there's a lady in the pink, and there's a couple of girls just sitting right next to you there. And I was hoping maybe I can just wait and see. Yes, just wait a minute. Um, can any of you girls uh, relate to a partner or a boyfriend that would have died? The lady in the pink. Good start. Can I go to the lady in pink for that moment? Is your one on this one? Hello, <laughs> 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 love. Say hello to me. Hello. How are you? Now, I need to make sure that I'm with you, so will you listen to what I'm going to say about it and make sure it all fits together? Because the first thought that I get with this male, this young man, is that he remembers in his life he would have been. And, and you know, I'm just going to say, I'm, I'm allowed to be completely open, is that all right? But I know that he remembers that he had issues around addiction. And I know that he remembers, you know when somebody says, oh, he was a drinker? Like, that's what I want to say as a sort of first opening sentence about his character. Now, it doesn't mean that that's all the total told some of them, but he knows that the drink, it became so bad for him in the end, that that's what killed him. 100%? 100%. Good stuff. So we're on the right track with you. Was he a bit younger than you? Yeah. Because he's remembering that he looks at you as a, uh, not like a mother role, but he thinks that you were like, he was your tall, tall, tall boy. So what do you think? 13 years. He was your tall boy. <laughs> this is really impressive. Like, what did you say, my love? But anyways, we're on the right track, alright? So, because he's, he said he was younger than you and he remembers that he was a toy boy, and he, but he still remembers loving you. And, and he remembers that you try to help him with his problems that he was going through with drink, as in terms of, you know, go to AA or get a wee bit of counselling or get your head. You know, there was things that you sort of, obviously naturally, because you loved him, you were trying to give him that bit of encouragement and support. And he wants to say to you tonight, thank you for all that you've done for him, thank you. And he feels, and I'm going to be honest with you, he feels in the end, it was the drink that killed him. It's like he, he sort of, he couldn't stop. He just couldn't stop. He wanted to stop, but he just couldn't stop. It, it just overtook his life. And he showed me he was drinking more or less 24-7. And you could see, you just knew he was going to end up in a, in a grave. You knew because you, you were saying to him, if you don't stop, you're killing yourself. And there may well be a few chosen up words in between that because you were so concerned and consumed with worry and what the damage he was doing with himself. And, and obviously, naturally, with the element of alcohol, it's going to impact the organs. You know, and even though he's younger, he still feels that he looked older, strangely, you know, um, because of the way he and the drink affected him. So some days people would have, they wouldn't have thought he was 13 years younger, they would have thought he was similar age to you. So what do you think of this? Yeah, yeah. 100%? Yeah. Um, and you must have children, if you don't mind me saying. But he doesn't feel that he fathered those children. So we understand that this is a partner. He's not necessarily coming as a husband. Because he's not saying that your children were, were his. But he still feels that he, he sort of, in a way, he may not have been like a big role model in that way, but he still feels he get on well with them. And they had a good relationship. And, and they loved them just as much as you loved them. Even if they weren't, even if he wasn't dad, but they still had a, a good connection. And he wants to say tonight to the children as well, I love you, and I'm looking out for your mum. And you know, being such a, a severe, unfortunately, alcoholic in the way that he, he was, he still done his best to make sure he gave you some money. You know, uh, even though he would have needed that for himself for what he chose, but he has shown me that he tried his best to here, you know, get yourself whatever it is that you need and want. Um, but unfortunately, he came to stages where he was starting to hide money, uh, as well as hide bottles and hide everything else in between. So, do you agree with this? Yes. Yeah. He said he loved staying in the bed, honestly, beside you on a, on a daily night, <laughs> alright? But he makes me feel as a reference, because um, obviously that's not true with couples, but he's making me feel as a reference. There was periods whenever the drink sometimes got a bit too bad, 
that it, it, it strokes them to sleep sort of downstairs or you know he would have, he would have went down in the morning and he was sort of lying on the sofa and, and he was freezing sometimes and you'd really be wanting to put a wee blanket around him and he'd be saying to you for God's sake you should just come up to bed and he'd wake up in a bit of a like where am I and what's going on and because he didn't want you to see himself drinking through the night and then he would, he would have only have had like one or two hours but may I say that wasn't like just the one off that happened quite regularly. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and he, and he feels here, there was actually memories of him that he, he fell asleep on the stairs, he fell asleep on the landing, he fell asleep on the bathroom floor. That we're not just talking the comforts of a sofa here. So do you remember finding him in strange places and around the home? <coughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, because he, he knows, but God bless him, he says that he was trying to make his way to bed and then just he couldn't, and then that was him. So uh, he feeds here, he was good crack as well. Like there's a lovely bunker and, and a, he's got a real nice personality. And he feels that he knew that he was doing the, the harm, but yet he was still trying his best to be romantic and kind and loving to you in his own way. And he feels that you didn't shout at him too much. You accepted him for the way that he was. And so you loved him through all of that. And he said, thank you for not judging me. Thank you for not judging me. Naturally, because obviously he's your partner and, and he was your life partner in the way that you would have seen him to be. But it's not to say he was obviously you've had other relationships in the past. You should definitely have a chat with Liz. <laughs> <laughs> because he's saying you're sitting in the house, you don't go out, you don't even want to visit family, the TV's like your best friend yes. and sometimes it might be on but you're not even really listening and you're just pottering about and he says you're starting to talk, you're slapping on <laughs> um, and he's, he's a wee bit not concerned in that regards but he's more concerned that wee bits of depression are sort of settling in a little bit and, and maybe just a bit too down on it. Um, and he feels that he wants to lift you tonight. And remember, he went direct to you this evening. I didn't help you open the contact up. He stood right there where I wanted to be and came as a partner. And he feels that he asked you over and over again, marry me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, he's just getting down to marry me. He says, and he used to do that all the time. Like it wasn't just a one-off or, because you didn't have, and, and I have to be honest, you know, there'll be lots of people in here maybe have relations or family that are, you know, maybe involved with, with too much strength, and usually it causes disagreement and arguments, but not with you. Yeah. That was the weirdest thing. You know, you, you just loved each other. I mean, and I think sometimes you didn't mind him having a drink because you can have a bit of peace. <laughs> I mean it. Because he's just showing me sometimes you'd be like, you're not having a few drinks. It's just going to be a bottle of vodka. I have a wee sticky bottle of vodka from earlier. <laughs> you know, so, um, so do you get me okay? Yeah. So you know, it didn't cause too many issues. Because you just accept it. That's his choices. If he wants to do that and enjoy it, then that's, that's what he'll do. Oh, this is important. He feels that he would have known you a bit before you actually got involved with each other. These were already friends previous. Yeah. And he said to me, and I know he's your 13 years of youth, but he says you had your eye on him for a while now. And he's just saying here, she'll, she'll eyed me up, and he feels you're the one that started the conversation in that way. Now, I have to be honest, when you got together, like proper got together, and we kiss. I feel like he showed me that he had a wee bit of Dutch courage in him at the time. So this isn't a man that's sober and, and mwah, give me your lips. He was steaming. <laughs> 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 and, and then you were like, 
I love him. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> and then he used to do a wee bit of work around your house as well and DIY because he was decent that way. Very good. Yes, but I think that was an excuse to get, get where he needed to be. Um, and then he showed me, but once he started to get more known to you and then you just were a bit more relaxed, he really loved your company and then that was it. You know, so he, he didn't necessarily plan a relationship, but things just manifested, and for you too. Yeah. So do you get that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just keeps saying, tell me, marry me, marry me. <laughs> he says it was, it was always romantic. He said we'd be laying in bed and said, and he said a few times a week, that's the weirdest thing. And you're like, no, not worrying it, no. <laughs> do you get that? <laughs> and he, he showed me some days when you were done doing your wee dishes, and he would just come round the back here, and then he'd be, and then he'd be more even. I can do another dish, just get off my hand. That's what he showed me. Because he would have asked you around, it wasn't sitting in a, a beach, or uh, on holiday, or sitting with a bottle of champagne, or somewhere lovely that he could ask you to marry him. He would have on the sofa watch a carnation show. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, this is the kind of, but because he had asked you so frequently, he, he remembers, and he remembers one time he actually said to him, oh, I will, I will, but it never came, it never happened. And he says, it's because I didn't have a ring. <laughs> so how are you getting all this? All of it, 100%? Good stuff. Isn't this lovely? Yeah. Right. sharing all these memories, but more importantly than anything else in the world, that he still loves you, and, and that's what he wants you to know tonight, and he's glad to see you out, and he's just saying you need to get out of that house more because he feels like it's sinking in, it's, it's, it's lovely to be home and snuggly in the bed, the weather and all, if it gets to be a bit dark in the winter, uh, and everybody loves that, the heat and all on, but he is showing me about not, not consistently where you're not really stepping out the door. So you need to find the balance. I think that's what he's trying to put across. Um, do you enjoy the odd we did, uh, or did you used to enjoy bingo? Yeah. Because I feel he said, get to the bingo with yeah. All right, were you, were you thinking of going back? We were about to go tonight. Because we were about to go to bingo tonight. Yeah. Yes. And he's came here instead. Yes. Oh. That is not amazing. <laughs> There you go, is that great? So you weren't thinking of going back to bingo? Yes. All right, well, I'm glad you thought you came to me instead. <laughs> um, so maybe next so Friday. I uh, know, well, that is that wonderful? So maybe next Friday that may be yes, something next week we are going to bingo. Well, there you go. There you are. Great. I love it. because it's been such a difficult phase, but he wants to just, one more we think before we leave and put in on the family, he just wants to say, even though he died suddenly, because he did, even though you knew that things weren't a bit too great for him, but he did die suddenly, so it was without expecting, he weren't, nobody was really around him, he just, he just went, and he was on the drink and all of the time, that's what I'm trying to say, and he's just saying, even though I died unexpectedly, with nobody around me, and he says, just tell her that it was like, just stupid, he says, and then I just went. He says, the next thing I'm here, and, but his focus is you. I'm wanting to get you back on track because your heart again is broke for him, and he can't stop thinking about it. And he says, he can't stop thinking about you too. 